Uh, ramucirumab is the only drug approved for non small cell lung cancer independently by histology. So it is now approved for the treatment of advanced non small cell lung cancer in second line with docetaxel. And differently from the other two antiangiogenics, uh, this, uh, the ramucirumab works also in the squamous histology and uh, while bevacizumab and also lintedanib works only in adenocarcinoma histology. Yeah, the mechanism of action is different uh, of bevacizumab and ramucirumab. Both drugs are inhibiting angiogenesis, however, uh, bevacizumab is uh, inhibiting the vascular endothelial growth factor, ramucirumab is a monoclonal antibody inhibiting the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor. This is the main, uh, is the main difference uh, between the two drugs. So one inhibiting the ligand, uh, ramucirumab is inhibiting the uh, receptor. It's quite difficult to say the perfect patients to have uh, uh, this kind of drug. I think that uh, it is important to discuss uh, with each patient uh, all the possibilities. Two years ago, we had no possibilities for this kind of patients. Now we have the possibility to choose among many treatments. So we have to discuss with the patient uh, if uh, he wants also alopecia and uh, all the side effects of docetaxel, but we have to clearly explain to the patients that maybe in this way he can achieve all the possibilities of treatment. About the toxicity of the drug, the most important toxicity is neutropenia, and I think that all oncologists are very able to treat neutropenia, and so I think that this is not something that we will, will stop us to use the combination drug. Well, Remesimumab was approved based on a, a very large second-line trial in which patients who were um, getting progressive disease after chemotherapy, both squamous and non-squamous uh, cell lung cancer patients were treated with docetaxel or docetaxel in combination with uh, remesirumab. And the um, trial was powered for uh, OS as an endpoint and it uh, reached its statistical endpoint by increasing the uh, median overall survival from 10.5 to uh, from uh, nine months to 10.5 months. So that was a statistical uh, st statistically significant improvement. The interesting thing was that there was both in the squamous and uh, non-squamous. And regarding to the toxicities, we, we know the, the um, main toxicity was the neutropenia, which is known when we use those attacks and it was slightly increased in the combination arm. And the other toxicity related to the remesirumab was, uh, so to say, the class effect. So we know that patients are getting more hypertension uh, more thromboembolic uh, events related to the uh, VGF blockade. Regarding this um, uh, class effect toxicities, one thing was, which was not more observed in the remesimumab arm was pulmonary hemorrhage. So there were no more um, uh, hemorrhage events in the patients in the combination arm than in the monotherapy arm. So to wrap up on the trial, this was the um, uh, the, the first second line trial showing an activity of an anti angiogenic agent in both histolo histological subtypes, showing a small but a significant increase uh, in overall survival and um, with an acceptable toxicity. Oh, very, very uh, uh, excited about using ramesturumab. So, ramesturumab was approved in combination with docetaxel in the trial versus docetaxel alone. And actually, in both, even though it's an inhibitor of VEGF uh, receptor 2, VEGF R2, it was studied both in squamous and non squamous lung cancer. And actually, I was impressed by the trial. The hazard ratio was around 0.8. Uh, you know, so it wasn't you know, the, the, the best uh, uh, result one would have wanted, but it clearly has improvement over docetaxel alone um, with, with very few additional side effects. So, in someone who I'm going to use docetaxel for in lung cancer, I would use it with ramesuramab. I also think ramesuramab is going to have a very important role in lung cancer as we start combining it with other agents, including immunotherapies. One thing that I'm very uh, interested in is why in, in certain uh, immunotherapies, when we treat patients, the immune cells, the T cells, don't make it into the tumor. 
and uh, I'm betting that one way we can enhance uh, delivery of T cells to the tumor and trafficking will be through the VEGFR2 receptor and inhibiting that. So I think we'll start seeing trials, and actually I'm already leading a phase one trial, of ramacirumab plus pembrolizumab in this disease. So this drug is approved, it's being used in lung cancer, and now it's part of several exciting research trials as we speak.